myself rajiv an educator and a blogger you are welcome this video is a part of stoichiometry module and the topic is mass volume relationship what is mass volume relationship it is a connection or a relation formed between two species in stoichiometric problem solving exercise where mass of one and volume of another is the basis of forming connection or relationship between them regarding species for which volume is the basis of concern, should be preferably a gas or a solution provided that if it is a gas then avogadro's law is used for problem solving exercise but if it is a solution then concept of concentration in terms of normality and molarity is used a simple question would be to calculate volume of oxygen required at stp for complete combustion of 5.2 kg of acetylene so as to calculate volume of oxygen required for complete combustion of acetylene formation of combustion reaction and subsequently balancing are the primary steps specifically to understand balancing you can watch my video the link of the video is in the description box here below eventually the balanced equation would be 1 mole of acetylene reacts with 5 by 2 or 2.5 moles of oxygen to produce 2 moles of carbon dioxide and 1 mole of water the next step would be to establish a relationship between acetylene and oxygen in terms of mass of acetylene and volume of oxygen in order to arrive at the desired results thus the molecular mass of acetylene is 26 grams per mole and the volume of oxygen with regard to avogadro's law that 1 mole of a gas occupies 22.4 liters at stp in fact the balanced chemical equation possesses 2.5 moles of oxygen at stp so using unitary method that 1 mole corresponds to 22.4 liters so 2.5 moles would correspond to how many liters so it would be 22.4 divided by 1 into 2.5 gives us 56 liters of oxygen returning to the calculations 26 grams of acetylene requires 56 liters of oxygen at stp so using unitary method 1 gram of acetylene would require 56 divided by 26 liters of oxygen at stp so 5.2 kg of acetylene would require it would be 56 divided by 26 into 5.2 into 1000 we have to convert kgs into grams would give us 11200 liters of oxygen at stp so the answer to the problem is 5.2 kgs of acetylene would require 11200 liters of oxygen at stp the second type of questions in mass volume relationship involving solutions would be to calculate volume of 0.2 molar hydrochloric acid required for complete neutralization of 0.5 grams of sodium carbonate eventually the balanced chemical equation for the reaction would be 1 mole of sodium carbonate reacts with 2 moles of hydrochloric acid to produce 2 moles of sodium chloride 1 mole of carbon dioxide and 1 mole of water the next step would be to establish a relationship between 
सोडियम कार्बोनेट एंड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ मास ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोनेट एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड राधो देन यूजिंग ग्राम्स ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोनेट एन ईजी वे वुड बी टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू मोल्स बाई यूजिंग मैस मोल रिलेशनशिप इन दिस केस फॉर सोडियम कार्बोनेट हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स ग्राम्स वुड करस्पॉन्ड टू वन मोल डे फोर पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम्स ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोनेट वुड बी वन डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स इंटू पॉइंट फाइव विच कम्स आउट टू बी पॉइंट डबल जीरो फोर डबल सेवन टू मोल्स ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोनेट रिटर्निंग टू द कैलकुलेशन वी कैन राइट वन मोल ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोनेट वुड रिक्वायर टू मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड एज पर द बैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन सो पॉइंट डबल जीरो फोर डबल सेवन टू मोल्स ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोनेट वुड अप्रॉक्सीमेटली रिक्वायर पॉइंट डबल जीरो नाइन फोर थ्री मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड फॉर कंप्लीट न्यूट्रलाइजेशन एंड आई एम यूजिंग यूनिटरी मैथड्स टू कैलकुलेट दीज सिंपल कैलकुलेशन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वुड बी कैलकुलेटिंग वॉल्यूम ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड एज मोलैरिटी ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इज नोन एंड बाई डेफिनेशन मोलैरिटी इज नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सल्यूट इन दिस केस हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड पर लीटर ऑफ सोल्यूशन एंड इट कैन बी सिंप्लीफाइड एज नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड टाइम्स थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सोल्यूशन इवेंचुअली वी नो मोलैरिटी एंड मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड एंड वॉल्यूम इज unknown so just by shuffling the terms we can calculate volume of hydrochloric acid and solving this equation we get 47.15 milliliters of hydrochloric acid hence 0.5 grams of sodium carbonate requires 47.15 milliliters of 0.2 molar hydrochloric acid for complete neutralization to sum up creating stoichiometric connections in problem solving is very simple but only if it is done methodically as a final point watching two equations in stoichiometric problem solving will make you understand but to get command over the topic i strongly recommend to practice few questions you may be having worksheets at your end after watching the video give them a try but for a reason if you can't find them then i have prepared a worksheet which can be downloaded in pdf format check the description box for the link you can discuss the doubts of my worksheet at the chemistry blog on the website by registering yourself for free you have watched complete video this shows that you want to uplift your knowledge that's great my idea of making videos is to share my knowledge So what do you think would be easier for you subscribe into the channel and get knowledge on your fingertips which is more personal more convenient and more flexible or wander here and there in search of con uh, understanding concepts in a process develop phobias after subscribing to the channel don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant updates you can share my videos on whatsapp facebook instagram or any other social platform where you think can help someone you can follow us on social media like facebook twitter insta thanks for watching the video